learning subjects. Another one too is the language barrier. For example, the students who upon graduation having upon completion having the advanced level, most of the students from this and the first section of the country, they are scared to go to a Francophone university because of that general belief that or the stereotype that the first year is spent in learning the language. And when they reach there, they become very lazy about it. Even the test students know they know that they are learning a language. That is one of the negative influence of stereotypes. Which guests, ladies and gentlemen, there is a link between social relationship and academic performance. At home, the first environment of the student. In school, the second environment of the student. Two weeks ago, a student went to her mother's room and picked a 10,000 francs. When the mother asked, the student did not own up. For three days, the father came in from a journey and there was total tension in the home. When cane was used, the student opened up and said, I took the money. In fact, she lost the confidence they had in her. The very first thing is she came to the counselor's office and said something strange happened in her home. The mother oftentimes brings money and leaves it carelessly. And for her to show that the mother is careless, she picked a 10,000 francs out of 68,000 francs. Now, three days passed, we asked her, why did you not own up that you took this money? So we had to inform or invite the parents to come up because this child could not read, could not study because she was traumatized. Another angle is, is a home which existed. The student came and when tasks were given for her to do, she is heavy. And when she does that, she loses the interest of the parents. That is a lady student who does not do home household cures and only is eager to go out and move with friends. The parents will refuse to buy your textbooks. They will refuse to pay a fees. Another case which I want to say here is the student in school, when they are in school and instead of student-teacher relationship being a healthy one, it moves to one of dating, whenever the teacher is in class trying to teach, that same thought keeps on coming in mind and they will disturb the student and the teacher. There is a case which occurred and students again, if an upper six student went home to live with the, the mother who has already divorced and is getting married to another man. As she went home to stay on holidays, the other man still loved the student and tried to sleep with her. The student refused. Now, the mother went on a journey. That student was at home alone with that man. And the man raped her. Now, the worry here is, before the student could come to the counselor, she kept it for too long and kept it to herself. So it was like she was contributing to the act of rape. She kept on going there to the same house for holidays. It is embarrassing. She could not read. There was trauma. What do we do? Students should be careful not to cause problems on themselves because you have to learn to look before you leave. That is the little I wish to say, because most students are instruments of discipline. Himself is the garden can chief of garden council in the divisional delegation of secondary education, Momo. Please will give him a round of applause and with Madam Councillor. No, Madam used a lot of time because she was a counselor. So she had many, many things to say. Uh, this is an appeal. Please, there are many students who have come from other schools and are littered all over the buildings. I think the aim of students coming here was for a purpose, for this guidance and counseling day. Please, other senior discipline 
masters together with those of yes, yes, Batibo. Could you please call? It concerns teachers. How they themselves are able to cause massive academic failure in some schools. I am just trying to supplement what was said because there were some of the points that were left out. I want to say that the teacher's dressing can influence students and distract them to learn. If you are that teacher that wears the same kind of shoe every day to class, or you have two kinds of dresses, if you are not in this one, the children already know the one that you will wear. That teacher that dresses very gorgeously, either you because when you say you should be dressed beautifully, it means you are smart in class. You can wear a shirt and a tie. But if you go and bring a dress that has some mirrors on it and so on and so forth, the children will spend time admiring your dress. If you are that teacher to a lady, who wears a very short skirt. And if your chalk falls, I bet you, as you are bending to pick the chalk, some of the students are bending to see what is around, or, or what is under you are under the skirt. This is bad dressing that distracts the children and contributes to make them fail their exams. We have so many teachers that are absent from school. If you are that teacher who is always absent from school, or even you are absent without taking permission from the VP or the principal, so that they can, I mean, make arrangements with another teacher to come and occupy the students. You know that as soon as the students discover that the teacher is not coming and there is no other teacher to occupy them, they will spend the time making a lot of noise that will not only disturb them, but will equally disturb even other classes that are having lessons. Who make use of only own notes? They never take time to revise their notes. And if you are such a teacher, teaching in that class where there are repeaters who already have class. In fact, there was a situation where a teacher started reading notes in class and because the teacher was drowsy, skipped a line. And the, one of the students said, please up, please up, please up. You have skipped this other one. I was really what the teacher skipped. How embarrassing it can be if you are a teacher. I want to teachers who sexually harass the students. There are teachers who exchange marks for sex in class and create because if students discover that you are biased, you give marks to girls because you have dated them. The girls, instead of reading, will be looking for ways to entice the teachers. There are also some teachers who never buy textbooks. The government can give them the documentation allowance, but they will lack a laptop. They don't buy a textbook, and so they don't own a personal library. So how do you expect that kind of teacher to update? We are talking today when syllabuses have been revised. If you are such a teacher who does not have textbooks, 
to update your knowledge, and that will call the students to fail. So my appeal is to the teachers to be themselves examples so that our students can emulate. Someone said that the teacher, once the teacher makes a statement, it is final, whether it is good or bad. So those teachers who have very poor mastery of English, they, they, they mix tenses, they confuse the students, know that what you say is gospel in front of the students. Thank you very much. My name is Teken G. Ali Afons. I come from GHS Batsubo. From 1B. My question I wanted to ask is why is it that some teachers come and mark when they have not taught us? Then when they mark, how do they feel without teaching us? Then later on they come to give their test without teaching. How do they feel doing that? My name is Telek Avitus, a student of GHS Batibo Upper Six Arms. My preoccupation is the government keep on employing more discipline masters and vice principal. In some schools there are more than five and uh, these discipline masters they come around to remove students who have committed crimes for punishment during classes. And some of these students are taken out maybe during uh, revision classes. Are they not helping to add more wound on the injury? My second preoccupation. Some teachers do call students to inform them that he or she will not come for a particular class. Is that student not contributing to the failure of the students? Thank you very much. Yes, from GPHS, but we go From Five Science. My, my question is that why is it that they, when they prescribe the textbook on the book list, the teacher come to class and use for different textbooks? Thank you. To handle the questions that have been asked, because most of them touch on policy issues. Mistake of GHS Batibo wants to know why some teachers come to give and mark tests without teaching. And it's asking you, the teacher, who are concerned, how you feel. Do you have your consciences in tact? When you come and give a test and mark without teaching first. I think what I have to say here is simple. This is a breach of professional ethics. If there is a teacher who comes to your class to set a test and mark when that teacher has not taught, I am asking you to report to the principal of the school. Report the teacher to the principal of the school and the principal will take the necessary corrective measures and put that teacher to order. Kenneths of the same school is questioning why the government keeps on employing vice principals and senior masters of discipline who have the latitude to come around in class and pull out students when learning is noise learning is taking place and is asking whether 
This is not adding injury to the wound. I say yes, it is actually adding injury to the wound. And this is right. Because there are so many ways to correct students. And some of these to come to school at 7 30. And you come to school at 8 30. You are a criminal. You will not be a criminal and prescribe the kind of punishment that has to be given to you. Yes. This is correct. So that next time, if you have value for your school, you will not commit the crime anymore. The same student, I mean Mr. Kenneth, he says, some teachers inform students that they will not come. That is, they ask students, they select some students and say, you. First of all, you will not attend my class. You, the class that I have tomorrow, you will not attend. And he is asking us whether this is not a way to contribute to the failure of that student. I will not say that the teacher is completely wrong because it will depend on the case in point. If you are that student who refused to do punishment when it was first given to you, then I'm sure the teacher can tell you that you will not enter his or her class until you have done the punishment. However, if it is that you have not done anything wrong and the teacher continues to ban you or ban you out of his or her classes, then go to the principal and report. You even have to the deal. You can go right to the deal if you think that your problem, your problem is not solved. But the deal does not solve your problem if you have not exhausted all the means available. You can even inform your parents if the problem is not solved. Your parents will come and see the principal. And together they will put down their heads and think of what is wrong and look for the appropriate solution of GDHS Jifa. Nadesh, eh? Okay, thank you. Your worry is that why is it that some teachers come and prescribe their own textbooks quite different from the official book list? From the from the from different from what is found in the official book list. Let me inform you that the Ministry of Secondary Education for every subject prescribes about two or three textbooks. It is the duty of the principal to work with the school animators, your HODs and the teachers to retain the books that will be used by the students of the school in the given academic year. If it happens that after the principal has published the official book list for the school and a teacher now comes in without the green light given by the principal to enforce a book, please go back to the principal and report. He will have a solution to your problem. If you are afraid to contact the principal, inform your father. The father will come and meet the school authorities and they will look for a solution to your problem. Thank you. Record of what? They sign daily record of what? What about the question? Huh? Huh? Yeah, they sign daily record of what without teaching. And teachers are here.
if you are one who sign their records of what that is the so called Kaye text. You come, you sign that you have taught when you have not taught. I think it's coming from a student. So it should be true. It's criminal. Uh one of the teachers, if you have to Madame Wombe, come and comment. Yes. I wish to say that uh, the question is a very important question. But I would equally like to say if there is a teacher who signs without teaching, who we'll say please desist from that. It is not correct. But I would like to cue off from where the delegate ended to say that amongst us, I don't see such a teacher. But if there is one, we will turn over a new Thank you for understanding. It's an indiscipline student. Because just this morning I seized a phone from him in school. He does not want discipline because he's not ready to learn. I think there is no effective learning without discipline. We are going to enforce the discipline. We must follow school rules in order to succeed at the end of those exams. I'm called Kobe Junior from 5C. The question I want to ask is that they are talking about late coming from school, but we the students, we are always coming early, but there are some teachers when they are coming late from school and then they will enter the class, they will not do things as, in the way they will ought to do. Why are they doing that on which we are trying our best? If you are a prostitute in the house and you are talking to your... Oh, you earlier. Thank you. <laughs> One. Whether it is a teacher who comes late to school or another one who will refer the students to their colleagues, whenever they ask questions, I will say the two methods are wrong. You see, uh, this is indicated of the fact that the students are conscious of the errors of teachers. And so, teachers, you don't have to take things the way you used to take them, eh? Because I'm sure if we give the students here a chance to talk more, they will reveal so many things that you have been doing. I will not be surprised if anyone would come and say, a teacher wanted to date me. Yes. So these are some of the things that we are condemning. And that is the reason that why a day like this is organized in the Ministry of Secondary Education. So that those who knew when they were in school and have forgotten now should be reminded. So, teachers go back to the drawing board and examine what, you are, what is expected of you as teachers. The general appeal I can make to the students is that whenever you find that there is something wrong, meet the authorities of the school. They are not out to condone moral practices or deviant attitudes in our school. If it is wrong, they will address it. If it's too wrong that they cannot address it, inform your parents. And your parents will contact the school officials. And if they cannot have any solution to the problem, I am sure your parents will go to the deal. This is true. So, I want to encourage our students to continue to diagnose the errors of our teachers and report them to the principal. But remember that your duty is not to monitor what the teacher is doing. Your duty is to learn. When you don't disobey, when you are not absent from school, when you don't come to school late, and so many other things, you will definitely suffer.